Hi, this is Laura Rogers, and as part of my Data View Web Part article series, today I'm going to show you a couple of different ways of inserting data from SharePoint lists onto a Web Part page where you can actually edit the data directly on the page. So, here in this example, I have uh, just a patient admissions just a custom list in SharePoint and, and in the data source details tab I have four different fields selected so that I can insert them as a data view web part on my page. So I click insert selected fields as and I choose multiple item form. So when I choose a multiple item form that's going to actually put the fields on the page in an editable format. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and go over and preview it in the browser. So I'll show you what that looks like. So now I can go in and change people's names. I can change information in these fields and I can just hit the save button. Let's see, change this, hit save, and that saves the information into the list and I didn't have to actually open any of the list items. So we know that out of the box we can use the data sheet view and list to edit items right on the page, you know, in a multiple item list. But this one's a little bit prettier and it's a little bit different. And there are a couple of other things that we can do. Let's go back over to SharePoint Designer. And what if in this interface I just, I don't want people to edit this patient name? Well, what I can do is just click on the patient name, click the little chevron next to it, and just change it to text. So change that to text and hit save. I'm going to go back over to the browser. So now my patient name is locked down and I can I want the users to edit these other fields. Now this isn't a security setting. This is just what the interface looks like. So this is just another option for you. Um, another thing that we can do when we're dealing with data view web parts is I'm going to go ahead and remove this data view web part. Now I'm going to insert a data view web part the same fields as a multiple item view. And then I'm going to the common data view tasks and go into the data view properties and the editing tab. Put check boxes next to show edit item links, delete item links, and insert item link. Click OK. And you'll see the interface changes changes a little, so let's go try it out and see what it does. I'm refreshing the page. Now I have these new buttons on each item in the list so that I can actually edit right here on the page. And then save. See, when I'm editing, I have a save and a cancel button. I also have a delete button for each item and I have an insert button at the bottom which lets me create a new item in the list. So that has been your information today about different ways of editing multiple items in, the, in a data view web part. Thank you.